Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing German 4 Killer Lift and you can see Sleuth here in a warehouse where there's clearly a forklift in the background carrying a bunch of crates maybe somebody used it to commit some kind of murder, hence the title 4 Killer and um, I guess Sleuth is investigating, trying to understand what happened Who's the victim? I guess the victim will be fairly obvious, but who's the culprit, I guess, is entirely what it's all about. Um, not a lot to say about the thumbnail, but um, I think this is definitely going to be a one-star difficulty rated puzzle. It looks highly approachable just looking at the grid. And uh, speaking of the grid, let's take a look at the rules so we can crack on. So, German Four Killer Lift by Kelly. And we've got the following set of rules. I mean, first off, before we take a look at the rules, what a fantastic drawing once again. You can very clearly see the forklift, um, wheels, and a bunch of crates. Fantastic. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. That means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, in every column, and in every 3x3 box. We know that one. We've got German whispers, so adjacent digits along a green line must differ by at least five. So, for example, if this cell here was a two, this would have to be from seven, eight, or nine to be five or more away. If you imagine that this one here is a seven, this would have to be one or two to be five or more away. And you can already see an, a pattern emerging of high digits, six, seven, eight, nine, low digits, one, two, three, four. I did not include the number five in my German whispers. Have a think about it, you'll understand why. Killer. So digits in cages do not repeat and sum to the clue in the top left corner in brackets if given. Well, I only, oh yeah, see, these two cells must add up to 10. So if that's a two, for example, this would have to be an eight. These two cells add up to 10. And this cage doesn't add up to anything. There is no total given, but it's a nine cell cage. So, Without repeats, make of that what you will. We have region sum lines. So box borders divide each blue line into segments with the same value of n. Different lines may have different values of n. So if you imagine this particular line, for example, what that's saying, let's say this is a 6, is that each of these segments that are divided by the box lines must sum up to the same value. So because this is only a single cell, this would have to be a six. These are three cells, it would have to be one, two, three. And these cells, well, I mean, I've already used the two will, will claim, so that would have to be one, five to add up to six. So that would be the region sum lines. Then last but not least, the gray circles, I guess the wheels on the forklift, denote odd digits. So they would have to be from one, three, five, seven, or nine. Although you notice I included a 5, which is not allowed on a German whisper line, so it will be 1, 3, 7, or 9 for both of them. That's all the rules we have for today, so hopefully you can help Sleuth solve the mystery of this murder and uh, determine who it is, the weapon, well, I guess the weapon is the forklift, and uh, I guess the motives. As always, if you want to play along, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. Um, essentially, what I'm trying to do is to determine the polarity of the German whisper line. And I was about to go around and just use colors that are not known, which is sort of my traditional way to see if I can actually reason about it and say, hey, this is purple. I don't know what purple is, if it's low or high, but I actually do. I know that this is high because I used it in my explanation and I just forgot about it. We've got a region sum line in here. And we know that these three cells, even at minimum of one, two, three, would add up to six. Therefore, this cell is at least six and therefore it has to be high from six, seven, eight, or nine. And therefore, the alternate digits have to be low. We are blue. This is red again. And uh, we have, oh, hang on, this region sum line is very helpful. This high digit is on a region sum line on another one cell region sum line. So it's the same digit. So that would be high 
that would be high, that would be low. We've got our first digit. I mean, I should have started with that. That's a five. No German whisper, uh, no fives on German whisper lines. If you try a five, you will find to be five or more away. It's zero or 10. Both are either too small or too big. So that's a five that is golden. Right. Where do we go from here? So I can see that this is one or three, one or three, because they have to be odd digits. That can't be a four, so we essentially have two and four left in the blue digits. But if that's a four, that would be a double nine. That doesn't work. So that's two, that's four. These are indeed a double nine. That's a region sum line. That's another nine reflected in here. And we're definitely up and running now. I'm looking at this row, and I think they're all from 1, 2, and 3. Yes, this is a 9. That could be a 4, but that would require a second 9. This would require two 9s in the same row or two 9s in the same box. This would require two 9s in the same box. That also doesn't work. That is clearly not a 2 with this 2 in here. 3 wouldn't work because that would require 8 and 9 to be 5 or more away next to it, and 9 has gone in the row. That's a 1. These are not 1s, and that's a 2-3 pair. Can I do better? I think is the question that I'm asking now. So this is 7 or 8, depending on whether this is 2 or 3. This is also not a 4. It required a double 9 in the same column. So this is 1, 2, or 3. This is 7, 8, or 9. Um because this is at least a 2. Um, same setup in here. This is a 7, 8, or 9. It's not a 9. Neither of them are a 9, in fact. What am I doing, sleuth? This is not, not 9, not 7 or 8. It is, in fact, a 6. This is either 6 or 7, 8. It's only connecting to a 1, so it's actually 5. Right, what is going on here? I was going to say this can be a six with a double one. But I mean, let's think about it. This needs to be six, seven, eight. Sorry, not this cell. Now, clearly the six is not next to a two. So this is actually forced. This is a six, this is a one, this is another one. And that has to be a three, which gives me my eight, my seven, it gives me another eight up here. That three gives me a two, excuse me. And the two leaves both seven and eight available. That is a three, which forces an eight in here now. That can still be 6, but it can no longer be a 7 because of the 7. And that 8 actually does force a 7. I just didn't spot it earlier. That 8 gives me a 6. Sleuth, come on. Right, we've got now to complete the row 4, 5, and 8. That is not a 5. That is not a 4. So what I said earlier about... Um, in the introduction about this being a nine cell cage, it means that it has to have the digits one to nine once each. Now, six of those nine digits are in here. The other three are essentially the same. Those three have to be the same as these three. So you can see with these nines, there are no nines here, but there has to be a nine in this cage. That's the nine. This cell is essentially one of these two. This cell is essentially one of these two. These two. I'm pointing at one cell and I'm saying these two. Anyhow, this uh, region sum line that is repeated, that's an eight. We now need to get to eight and three cells. That could be done in one of two ways. It's either one, two, five, or one, three, four. You can see that the one here forces the one to be on one of these cells. And I don't know if I want to take it any further. If I'm honest, there's too many options to pencil mark just yet. So I'm going to leave it and come back to it until I can do maybe a bit more of the puzzle. Such as, this is not a 1-7 or a 2-6. This is 3-5. These two cells are now known. They are 4 and 9. That 9 gives me an order. That's 4. That's 9. In a way, this is sort of helpful. The 4... So if this is a 1, 3, 4, the 4 would have to be here and the 3s would be there. If this is 1, 2, 5, well, the 2 says it would have to be there and that would be the 5. So that's a complete pencil mark now. But for the moment, I can't take it further. For the moment. 
Let's see, what else can I do? So remember, this is a region sum line. So these two cells have to add up to the same value as this cell. Now, if this is eight, even if this is a one, I would have to get to nine, which is not available. So that is a five. And I need to come up to a relatively low value. It's either six or seven because both eight and nine are not available. This would be one or two to allow me to get one plus five to six or two plus five is seven. So this is one, two, five with a definite five in here. There is no five there. Uh, remember these two cells have to be the same as these two so that we get the, all of the digits one to nine once each in here. Uh, this six gave me a seven sleuth. That's a two. It's not a one. This is a two five pair. Uh, there is a two in here. This is four. Or f in fact, it's four. So that's four. And this is a two five pair. We can just do a bit of Sudoku to finish up here, or at least pencil mark. One six. Three seven. Nothing is resolving. Okay. Not that it should, to be fair, because that is the digits 1 to 9, so there shouldn't be any kind of resolution here. Um, 2, 5, this needs to add up to 7. It's 1, 6, or 3, 4, which is not. So that is 1, 6. Are these not resolved yet? No. Should I be thinking about the 10 cages? Can I do much with the German whisper line? So I'll take a look at these German whisper lines and then I'll go and look at the 10 cages next. So for example, I let's think about this one for a second. It's not one, two, or four. So if it is low, this would be three. A three would require an eight or a nine next to it. It's not a nine, that would be an eight. Now, if it's high, this is not 9 or 6, it would be 7 or 8, and therefore this would be 2 or 3. So that's a complete set of pencil marks for these two German whisper lines. Let's think about the 10 then. So this is not a 1, 9 cage, because neither of these could be in this cell. It's not a 2, 8 cage, because neither cell can be 8. It could be a 3-7 cage, I think. Looks like that's possible. And it's not a 4-6 cage. So that's forced. That's 3, that's 7. That is not a 3. Removing the 8 from here. Doesn't necessarily... Oh, hang on. The 8 goes, which means that's not a 3. So that's 2-3 with 7-8. Interesting. Okay. Can I do much with this 7, with the 10 cage... I'm not sure I can, because this is either 1, 9, or 4, 6. And for the moment, they're both allowed. I don't know if I want to pencil mark that. Hmm. So usually, when I get to this point, it's normally Sudoku that I'm missing. So 378, that would have to be 378. It's not 3 or 7, it's an 8, which gives me a 7, which gives me a 3, which gives me an 8, which gives me a 2. No, it doesn't give me a 2. Yeah, it gives me a 2 because it can't be 3. So that's an example of what I mean by normally I am missing Sudoku. Now, I can probably pencil mark this. I know the 3 would be up here. I need a 4, which seems seemingly seems anywhere, and a 5, which again seemingly seems anywhere. So not a brilliant choice to pencil mark. What else do I need? I need a 2 somewhere in here, which lines up with this 2, but there's a 2 placed. 3s, they're done. Hmm. Fours, not really. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, there's nothing really. Oh, hang on. That three gives me a five, gives me a three. This is not a three, therefore, this is a one, two, five. That's a five. 
this is one two notice the ones are lining up there's a one up here this cell tells me the difference where it is then the twos are lining up but that's already resolved the six is not really significant the five that's not a five not quite enough though ones are now well i say now they were always lining up there has to be a one it's not four or six that's one nine so these cells well that four is neither of these two that's a four this is now five six i'm going to say to complete the box this is a digit we can just write in i think it's a nine and these are three and eight that eight tells me where it is that's eight that's three and these three cells are four six and seven not seven interesting you know i keep sort of looking out for something that i may be missing that's not a three that's a four five pair that is a three I need a two five, a second two five, and another digit, a nine. And it doesn't seem to be that restricted, other than this not being a five. Hang on, the five, two, five, right? That just resolves the whole thing. Two, one, six, one, four, five. So yeah, as usual, I'm just missing some simple sudoku this is f not four which makes this six or seven that's fine that is not a six that makes that four seven okay we do need a bunch of digits in here let's just think about this for a second one two three four are done five is not here that's the five um five one of these two cells is a nine we knew that from the beginning with a six or seven it's not a six so that's seven nine which gives me four six seven six no need for the corners in fact no need for pencil marks that's a nine nine seven that five gives me a two at the five when i say that five is that five that has to be the two this is a nine plus something else a four which could only be here and the nine gives me the one and nine pretty much nearly done at this point this digit we can just write in i think it's an eight which gives me four eight then i have three and four that's four that's three that three gives me seven and three one and six still not resolved but probably will be soon so let's think about twos that's two, three's done, four's done, five is done, six we'll come back to, and then seven, in fact, this is one or six, it's just six, one, six, seven, and if I've not made any mis hang on, if I've not made any mistakes, one for the finish. Lovely puzzle, Kelly, thank you so much for it. Hope that you guys enjoyed it, um, both the puzzle and the video. And um, yeah, pretty quick puzzle for today, but at least I'm glad we sold this four killer mystery. See you back in the next video. Bye-bye for now.